Good morning, chemistry students. My name is Mr. M. This is chemistry. Today is the 8th of May. It is a Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. And it is a day two in our rotation. So good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. We made it through another week of online learning. So this week, we kind of finished out unit two, section two uh, in our online learning. So that means that coming up next is the quiz, all right? So on Monday, Monday will be uh, review, and then Tuesday will be the quiz for us, the Unit 2, Section 2 quiz. That will again be a Google form that's online that you want to take, and you want to get above a 60% on that in order to pass. Now, if you've been paying attention, I've been talking to you a little bit about uh, what our alternate activity is for the quiz this time around, right? Instead of doing the quiz, if you don't want to do the quiz, if quizzes really aren't your thing, then this time around, you get to do what we call the build a molecule activity, right? where you actually build your own molecule and uh, construct it from different colored pieces and connect it together with some like toothpicks or bamboo skewers or whatever you find, right? And when you connect that molecule together, you're gonna build it and then you're going to make a short presentation uh, showing off that molecule, telling us what you know about it, telling us what you know about molecular shape and bonds and all that good stuff. So yesterday I posted an example for that build a molecule activity. Uh, that is posted in the stream on Google Classroom and it's posted in the build a molecule activity. Uh, so you can check that out. I made a PowerPoint presentation. It was really easy. I took a picture of the molecule after I built it and then I just kind of filled in some details. You can take uh, your build a molecule activity, what you do for that, you can take that directly off the example. Don't do the same exact molecule, obviously, but um, unless you want to do fun call really bad, but it's kind of hard to make. Uh, but make sure to conclude everything that I included on that example in your presentation. If you make a video, if you make a poster, if you make a PowerPoint, whatever you want to do, um, make sure that you include all those things that I've included in the example. Okay, so that'll be due on Tuesday as an alternate to the quiz if you don't want to do the quiz, which if I were you, I'd take the opportunity to do something actually fun, make a quick presentation rather than taking another boring quiz, right? Okay, so other announcements for today. Uh, today, since it's Friday, we're going to have our live video meetings. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Either uh, people haven't shown up or I didn't host one last week. Uh, my virtual office hours haven't really gotten anyone in there. That's okay. Uh, that just means you guys are doing well for the most part and don't need a lot of help. But I would really like to see you guys again. I would like to get the class together again and uh, chat and catch up and see what's been going on. So I will be hosting those today. I will send out an email earlier today reminding you that those are happening. And then again, I'll send out the Google Meet link around that time um, so you can join up. Okay. So that'll be from 1.30 to 3.30. Again, second period at 1.30, third period at 2 o'clock, fifth period at 2.30, and eighth period at 3 o'clock. So that's pretty much it for announcements today, I think. And today's lesson uh, is still on receptor site theory. So thinking about smells, how they go into our noses, sync up with these things called receptors, which hopefully you watched Miss Marnik uh, explain in her video yesterday, and then how that interacts with our brains and causes us to smell things, right? So why are molecules of certain shapes able to be smelled? able to be detected by the nose? How do they fit into the receptor with this quote unquote lock and key model? That's something you'll need to know. And that's something we'll talk a lot more about in unit two, section three, coming up after the quiz next Tuesday. So not too much new on the lesson today, just a reminder to be working on your build a molecule activity and to also um, show up for our live video meetings today. Okay, I hope you all had a good week. I hope you have a great Friday and an awesome weekend. Hopefully it's gonna get a little bit warmer uh, make sure to do me one favor for this weekend. Appreciate your mother, okay? It's Mother's Day on Sunday. Make sure you get her a nice card or a nice gift. And remember that the best gift that you can always give your mother is just spending time with her, spending quality time with her and letting her know that you appreciate her and love her, right? We all love our moms, so make sure you let her know, okay? Happy Mother's Day on Sunday, everybody. I hope you have a great weekend. Get to spend time with your family and your loved ones. Uh, and I will see you all hopefully later today, but if not, on Monday. Let's get a one, two, three. Clap on me.